Welcome friends. Now we are going to solve these two questions on valuation of goodwill. First question is on the average profit method and second question is on the super profit method of valuation of goodwill. So let us start with first question. First read the question carefully. Question says Tata Bata Limited wants to purchase the business of a firm. At the time of purchase of the business, it is agreed that goodwill is to be valued at three years purchase of the average profits of the last four years. See friends, question says Tata Bata Limited wants to purchase the business of a firm. And condition is that at the time of purchase of the business, it is agreed that goodwill is to be valued at three years purchase of the average profits of the last four years. So three years purchase of the average profits. Question further says profit for the last four year is given below. Here uh, profit for four years given uh, four years is given in the table uh, from 2018-19 to 21-22. Question further asks us to calculate the value of goodwill as per average profit method. See friends, as per average profit method, there are only two steps. In first step, we need to calculate average profit and in second step, we calculate the amount of goodwill. Now let us start with first step. So first step here is obviously calculation of average profit. For that purpose, we need to use this formula. Average profit is equal to total profit divided by number of years. So in this case, profit is given for four years. So we will add the profit of four years and it will be divided by the four because profit is given for the four years. So here average profit is equal to profits of 2018-19 to uh, 10,000, profit of 2019-20 to like 30,000 plus 250 plus 230, right? And it is divided by the four. So uh, the total of profit of four years is 9,20,000 and it is divided by four. So here average profit is 2,30,000, right? So here in first step, we calculated the uh, amount of average profit. In second step, we need to calculate the amount of goodwill. So here it is given that uh, the goodwill is to be valued at three years purchase of the average profits. So here we need to multiply average profit by number of years of purchase or basically to calculate the amount of goodwill this formula is used that is goodwill is equal to average profit multiplied by number of years of purchase so here in this case average profit is 2 lakh 30 thousand and number of years of purchase these are given in the questions 3 so 2 lakh 30 thousand multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 lakh 90 thousand so therefore Goodwill at three years purchase of the average profit is 6,90,000, right? So I hope uh, you understood the two steps. Uh, this method is uh, very easy indeed, right? So here in this method, you have to calculate goodwill in uh, these two steps only. First, calculate the amount of average profit and at the second step, calculate the amount of goodwill, right? Now, let us solve the same question as per super profit method. Here, uh, uh, in addition to previous information, some additional information is given in the question. Like, see, uh, first, uh, let us read the questions and then try to solve it. Here, question says, Tata Bata Limited wants to purchase the business of a firm. At the time of purchase of the business, it is agreed that goodwill is to be valued at five years purchase of the super profits right so question says we have to uh, value the goodwill at five years purchase of the super profits of last four years here uh, question further says the capital employed in the business is rupees 20 lakh and the normal rate of return in the industry is nine percent and profit for the last four years are given here so the profits are the same as uh, in the previous question and question further says calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of super profit method. So in this method, uh, uh, there are four steps mainly. In first step, we need to calculate the average profits. Okay, so we are going to calculate average profit in the same way as in the previous method here. Total profit divided by number of years and uh, here average profit is same 2 lakh 30,000. In second step, here we need to calculate the normal profit. 
okay so here uh, for normal profit we can use this formula normal profit is equal to capital employed multiplied by normal rate of return okay see friends the normal rate of return is the minimum rate of return which is expected in the industry which is given in the question here also so here in this question the capital employed in the business is rupees 20 lakh and normal rate of return is 9% so 20 lakh multiplied by 9% it gives us 1 lakh 80000 it means normal profit on uh, the investment of 20 lakh in this type of industry is 1 lakh 80000 now let us check whether home is earning the super profit or not Okay, because we need to calculate the goodwill in this question as per the super profit method. Now, in next step, uh, we are going to calculate the amount of super profit. And super profit is nothing but the difference between average profit and normal profit. Right. Now, uh, in next step, we are going to calculate the super profit. So, here super profit is equal to average profit minus normal profit. In this question, average profit is 2,30,000 and normal profit is 1,80,000. So, 2,30,000 minus 1,80,000, it gives us 50,000 rupees. It means this firm is earning rupees 50,000 as super profit, right? And as per the condition given in the question, we need to calculate goodwill as per uh, the <clears throat> five years of at uh, we need to calculate goodwill at five years purchase of super profits so here uh, in the fourth step goodwill is equal to super profit multiplied by number of years of purchase and here super profit is 50000 and the number of years of purchase are five so here goodwill is 250000 right so therefore goodwill at five years purchase of the super profit is rupees 250000 right see friends as i said the super profit is nothing but the difference between average profit and normal profit okay and uh, generally in the question it is uh, <clears throat> given that number of years of purchase of super profit so we need to multiply that number of years of purchase uh, uh, with a super profit to get the amount of goodwill right and uh, so generally super profit is expected uh, that uh, 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 for uh, uh, this in this method it is assumption that now uh, let us take this situation here we are multiplying this uh, uh, 50,000 of super profit by pi because it is uh, assumed in uh, this method that in next five years firm is going to earn the super profit right friends now uh, i'm going to make more videos and on uh, this uh, topic so make sure that you have subscribed the channel and please like the uh, video and share it with your friends right and if you are interested in other methods of valuation of goodwill and if you are interested in um, uh, further uh, questions let me know it in the comment section thank you thanks for watching